Oh well, boiled again, viewers. Uh, the road is closed. That's where I intended to go. going to be interesting. Uh, go back the other way. Oh well, that's a bummer. Well, I wanted, wanted to go that way. That's an interesting road, I think. Anyway, uh, we're not far from the campsite now, so let's push on. Down the mountain we go. Street. Okay, so we're going to head back and then we should turn right somewhere towards Araluan. So that's the plan. Across the bridge, that was Majors Creek. So somewhere along here, I saw a road heading to, that was my plan to go Majors, Majors Creek Mountain Road four-wheel drive only so maybe maybe I've dodged a bullet and haven't gone that way but I've been down there once before or once or twice before and uh, I remember it being interesting but not not too bad it's like slower than me that's saying something so it's been a nice cruise down here no fatigue except my wrists are a bit had it. Oh, thanks, mate. That wind is a bit chilly. A bit chilly for November, I tell you. So it might be a bit of a chilly night. Uh, because I've got so much room to pack things on the Ural, I've packed the, the big sleeping bag. A nice warm one, so it's a bit off camber there. So luxury, luxury. I'm just, um, so my packing procedure was I got everything out and packed it all on the bike as if Sam or Sally or someone was coming. And so I haven't even used the front rack or anything, but I loaded it all up so that it looked like I was going to strap it all onto the rack so there was someone, a place for someone to sit in the sidecar. So when Joanne and I go away, camping or, well, not camping, but motelling, she'll have room for the hairdryer. So I packed it all, set everything on the racks, plenty of room for an extra bag or two with someone sitting in the sidecar. So they worked it all out and then, because I'm on my own, I just got everything and just shoved it all in the sidecar and put the, the cover on and everything fitted in there except one bag on the back there. I could have squeezed that in as well, but uh, plenty of room on the rear rack. So, Plenty of luggage space, much more than on the Tenere. I think this road's just going to hit the, the tar road down to Araluan anyway. Oh, that's right, that's an interesting twisty road down. It's been a bit of a, a little bit of a detour. I suppose the, uh, the mountain road has been washed out by all the rain. We've had fires, floods. They haven't had a chance to fix everything. The fires were two years ago nearly, and a lot of bridges got burnt and trees down across roads. And then we've had rain and floods. And roads have been washed away, and there's some awesome scenery out there. 
would have been some awesome scenery coming down the mountain road. That would have been good. Okay, well here we go. Awesome scenery down this way. About, oh, I don't know, 10k's down the down the mountain here to the campsite. Hopefully we can find a spot near the creek. Steep descent down here. Let the you will like going down it rather than up it. School bus. School's out. Awesome on uh, two wheel bike. Coming down here and up here. I am here. Yep, so. I'm not sure. I'll have a look. There's some people here. Yeah. Cruise around and have a look and see if we can find a spot. Go along here and then come back and see if we can find a spot. Well, they, that was it. I think that was the campsite. Was it? Okay, well, I think this is it. Bit of sunshine, bit of dry grass. I think this will be the go. No trees overhead. Good idea. Okay. <laughs> How are these hiding hours looking? A little bit flattening off a bit there. Three and a half thousand k's probably. Well, there's the view of the campsite. After a bit of toing and froing, I've got the tarp set up just in case it rains. So it's time for happy hour. And uh, it's gone grey. I hope it's not going to rain. We'll see what happens. Okay. 
Okay, it's cooking well, now. <clears throat> Master Chef, how's that? This oh, all sausage, bacon, cheese. Heart attack at every mouthful. <laughs> no deals, I'm just uh, heading down to the river. Uh, camp is set up. It's not raining yet. So we'll just walk through here. Looks like there's a trail. I hope I don't tread on a snake or something. So we'll just go there Ooh. and have a look at the creek. If there's a trail. Looks like there's a trail. Ooh, I think it's this way. This way down to the creek. There we go. Maybe I could have got the Ural through here and camped down here. I don't think so. There we go. Pretty nice. Okay, well, that's the uh, end of the day, viewers. I'm a bit disappointed that there was no spots left down near the creek, but the creek's pretty noisy, so it's probably okay that uh, I'm back up here away from the creek. It's supposed to rain tomorrow they reckon but uh, we'll see what happens so I'm just I've got the tarp up. I have a third pole which I should have brought it would have helped but anyway two poles um, just allows me to get out of the tent if it's raining and I can uh, not get wet and maybe pack a few things up pull the tent down without getting too wet in the morning we'll see what happens. Anyway, good day, 300 k's probably, um, just under, just over, around that. Might go home a different way tomorrow via Neriga or something. Anyway, we'll see what the uh, the morning brings. Uh, bed, uh, no kangaroos about or anything. And... Um, The, uh, the end of the day. The hooker is acting as my fire. Not much firewood around here, so I'm using the cooker as my little fire. I'm getting eaten alive by mozzies. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. That's day one down, viewers. We'll take a nice cruisy way home tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you next time as the, uh, the sun goes down. Bye for now.